Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable punch art baby card. So we're going to start with a base of Pretty in Pink and we'll take a white mat which is a quarter inch smaller so it's five and a quarter by four inches and we'll map that right there. Now I'm going to take a piece of uh, this is our new DSP called Sweet Pea that's one side and that is one and three quarters by two and a quarter and I'm going to mat it on a piece of Pretty in Pink cardstock which is a quarter inch bigger so it's two inches by two and a half inches and then I'm going to go ahead and put that on my card and now I just broke the number one rule in stamping you should always stamp before you adhere it so that you can flip it over if you mess up but fortunately I have my clear mount stamps that says congratulations and it is from the well scripted stamp set ink it up hopefully I don't mess this up perfect okay now I'm going to take a piece of Blush Blossom, I'll set this aside, and I'm going to take my three-quarter circle punch and just punch out a little circle. That's going to be the baby's head. And then I'll take my black stamp and Write marker and draw a little baby face on there. Just a little smiley face. And I'll take my Pretty in Pink marker using the thicker tip and draw some little rosy cheeks on there. Oh, crooked cheeks. Okay, now I'm going to take a piece of Pretty in Pink cardstock and my scallop circle punch and I'll punch out the scallop. And then I'm going to take my paper snips and cut that in half. That's going to be the baby's blanket. Now I'm going to fold in the two corners. Like that you want it to crisscross and then I'm going to take actually I'm going to take some snail and adhere those inside there we go now I'm going to take a piece of whisper white cardstock with my new uh, tiny tags stamp and this has a matching punch the baby blanket doesn't want to stay closed and my pretty in pink ink again and I'll just stamp that right on the edge and then the words baby also from the same tiny tag stamp set I'll turn the tag and stamp baby so easy with the clear mount stamps now I'm going to take my tag punch which our new punch is locked closed so that they store a lot smaller and turning it upside down, I'll line it up and punch. Okay, now I just have to put all my pieces together. Have to put another bit of snail on this guy. Okay, I'm going to use dimensionals to pop all of this up. So I'll put a dimensional on the back of here and put the baby blanket right in the middle and then I'll put another dimensional on the baby's head. Just kind of slide that down in there. And she's sweet. Now I'm going to take a piece of Pretty in Pink quarter inch grow grain ribbon and I'm just going to tie a knot, just one loop around. There we go. And if when you tie a bow or not, it's not perfect, don't give up. It's just, it's something you can just uh, mess around with until you get it just how you want it. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to use a glue dot to adhere this and the tag to the baby blanket. So the glue dot's come in a roll. So you just find your next glue dot and don't pick it up with your finger because your fingers will be stuck together. So pick it up with that, with the ribbon, and then I'm going to put this 
attach the little baby tag to it and then put that right on there. And there you have it. Isn't that sweet? A cute little baby girl card using Sweet Pea DSP and punches. Thanks for watching. Bye.